Good morning, everyone. My name is Miss Bridget, and welcome to Preschool Storytime right here on the Swickley Public Library YouTube channel. Now, before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about what's happening on this channel all week long. On Tuesdays, we have Babies and Books. On Wednesdays, we have Stories for Twos and Threes. On Thursdays, you're with me at Preschool Storytime. And on Fridays, we have Family Storytime. And you can catch all these story times at 9.30 a.m. I'll be including information at the end of the video about the Swickley Story Walk, which is happening right now. So make sure you go out and enjoy those awesome books in our four locations. And they are Mary Roberts Reinhardt Nature Park, Ohio Township Nature Park, Audubon Greenway and Fern Hollow Nature Center. Once again, I'll include that information at the end of the video. All right, are we ready to get started? Let's start by warming our hands up for a little hello song. And today we're gonna sing hello, friends today. All right, here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Let's warm those hands up a little bit more so we can sing a little bit faster. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. All right, one more time. Super duper fast. Oh, our hands are way too warm. Let's cool them off with a deep breath. Here we go. On the count of three, one, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. All right, well, now that I have said hello to you and you have said hello to me, let's get started with our first story. We are reading books all about reading today. Isn't that fun? And our first story is Bunny's Book Club. And I would like to thank Double Day Books for Young Readers for their permission to read their book to you today. Now, Bunny's Book Club is by Annie Silvestro. So let's get reading. Okay. Bunny loved books. He loved them ever since he first heard the lady with the red glasses reading them outside the library. As he listened, Bunny imagined himself climbing mountains, captaining a ship, ruling a kingdom. But when summer ended, story time moved back inside and Bunny wasn't sure if animals were allowed in the library, but Bunny was sure he couldn't live without books. Night after night, he could hardly sleep for wishing. He had to do something. So, with a flashlight in his paws and hope in his heart, Bunny jumped out of bed and tiptoed into the dark. But when he reached the library door, it was locked. So were the windows. Bunny tried digging and climbing and yanking and nothing worked. Until finally he noticed the book return. The shiny handle was far above his head, but it was no match for a high hopping bunny hungry for books. Bunny leapt. He clung to the bar, flung himself over and wiggled his cotton tail through the slot. He landed inside with a thud. Bunny's eyes sparkled at the sight of the shelves bursting with books. It was better than a field full of fresh, crunchy carrots. Bunny didn't know where to start. He took a deep breath in. It smelled as if he were wrapped inside the pages of his favorite book. He followed his nose to the adventure section. Then he found stories about swashbucklers, sharks, and superheroes, and Bunny greedily grabbed them all. His whiskers twitching with excitement, he slipped his treasures through the book slot one by one. Then, performing his best balancing act, Bunny wobbled home, and he couldn't wait to dig in. And so Bunny returned to the library each night. He searched and sneaked and then scurried back to read. Soon his home was more books than burrow. Then one evening, a loud knock startled Bunny. He closed his book and answered, opened the door. Where have you been? said Porcupine. Reading, said Bunny. Why? said Porcupine. 
Bunny's eyes popped wide open. Why? Have you ever been to the library? And it was time for Bunny to let Porcupine in on his secret. Are you sure this is a good idea? Said Porcupine. Calm your quills, said Bunny. I'm too prickly, I'll never fit. Bunny pushed and shoved until pop went Porcupine. Bunny slipped in and flipped on his flashlight. Whoa, said Porcupine. I know, said Bunny. Do you think there's a story about balloons? I've always wondered about balloons, said Porcupine. Almost definitely, said Bunny. Sure enough, Porcupine found books about balloons and on to deserts and dunes, on caterpillars, on cocoons. When Bunny handed him one about hedgehogs, oh, he hugged it. The two friends took turns cramming books out the slot. Their towers teetered high. They could hardly carry them. Back at Bunny's, they cozied up with cups of tea and carrot muffins, and together they read until sunrise. One night, Bear noticed the light was on at Bunny's. He opened the door and tripped over a stack of books. What's going on, said Bear. Here, said Bunny, handing him a book. Bear made room and settled in to read. Soon, more curious animals began visiting. Do you have any books about outer space, said Bird. Or about volcanoes, said Mole. I'd like a ghost story, said Mouse. I think it's time for a field trip, said Bunny. One by one, the animals stuffed themselves inside the library, though Bear caused a bit of a delay. They scattered about, sniffing the stacks, pawing over pages. Squirrel gathered stories about the circus, raccoon nabbed one about outlaws and bandits, and frog found a fairy tale. No one heard the key in the front door. No one heard the clack, clack of clacking footsteps. And no one heard the light flick on. <gasps> what do we have here? Said the librarian. The animals looked up in shock. Bunny gasped. <gasps> Porcupine gaped. Bear groaned. Follow me, she said. The animals marched slowly behind her. We're done for, whispered Porcupine. All libraries have rules, the librarian said sternly. Bunny's whiskers trembled. Porcupine's back bristled. Bear eyed the door. Bunny stepped forward to take the blame. The librarian leaned down. The first rule is, every book lover must have one of these, she said. And she handed Bunny and his friends shiny new library cards. Now you may borrow books, she said, smiling. As long as you return them, of course, she said. Bunny couldn't believe his ears. They could keep coming to the library. He beamed at his fellow readers. They bounced to the shelves. He picked up the perfect book and he proudly checked out the very first selection for Bunny's Book Club. And that's the end. But look, there they all are with their books they're reading. That's the end of Bunny's Book Club. Well, now that we've read our first story, I think we should all stand up, stretch up, wait tall. Ooh, stretch to the left, stretch to the right. Ah, let's sing zoom, zoom, zoom. Here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. Now we climb if you want to take a trip. Climb inside my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. Get down way low. Here we go from three. Three, two, one. Blast off! Let's go again a little bit faster. Here we go. 
Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. If you want to take a trip, climb inside my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. Get down way low! From five this time. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Are you ready for super duper fast? I don't know. Are you ready? I don't know that we are. Let's take a deep breath in. <sighs> Save up some good energy for this last one. Here we go, one more in. <gasps> okay, super duper fast. On the count of three. One, two, three. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. If you want to take it, look at the first Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. <gasps> okay, get down way low from 10 this time. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! Excellent work. Let's see if we can all have a seat nicely now. Here we go. Everybody have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Everybody have a seat on the rug. Everybody have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Everybody have a seat on the rug. Not on the ceiling, not on a bug. Everybody have a seat on the rug. Not on the ceiling, not on a bug. Everybody have a seat on the rug. Are we all sitting? Are we all ready for our next story? Okay, here we go. Our next book is Make Way for Readers, and I would like to thank Simon & Schuster for their permission to read it to you today. Now, this book is by Judy Sierra and G. Brian Karras. Make Way for Readers. Make Way for Readers. The riders, the rollers, arriving in backpacks, on bikes, and in strollers. Emma and Rufus find books about bunnies. Rory and Annabelle read something funny. Now everyone listens to Merry Miss Bingo, the storytime rhymer, the singing flamingo. She tells them of kittens, of mittens and mice, Miss Muffet, her tuffet, and sugar and spice. They rap to the rhyme of the cat and the fiddle, Poor Rory forgets all the words in the middle. That's okay, Miss Bridget forgets a lot of words too sometimes. Stretch up high, honks Miss Bingo. Now stretch way down low. Does that remind you of our story time? Oh no, someone tramples on Annabelle's toe. And Annabelle howls, and Annabelle hops, and Annabelle sobs, and story time stops. Hmm. Rory shouts, Annabelle, Annabelle, look! And he reads her a rhyme from the Mother Goose book. Hickory dickory dock, Annabelle Mousy can ran up the clock. He makes Annabelle smile. He makes Annabelle giggle. Miss Bingo starts dancing. Now everyone wiggle. Wiggle your tails, wiggle your claws. Flap your wings and clap with your paws. For our story time hero, applause, applause. Is it time to go home now? Ask Rufus and Rory. No, no, says Miss Bingo. It's time for a story. They love it so much that she just reads one more and she blows them a kiss as they roll out the door. Now Rory remembers the cow in the moon, the little dog laughing, the dish and the spoon, and he sings all the words to his very own rhyme. Toodaloo, little readers, please come again soon. And that's the end of Make Way for Readers. All right, my friends, it's time for me to say toodaloo to you too. So let's 
Warm our hands up for our closing song. Today we will be singing Goodbye Friends. On the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. All right, my friends, make sure you check out the Swiggly Story Walk. It's gonna be so much fun. The books are really great. I like them a lot. And I will see you all right here next week for story time. Thank you so much for joining me today. Toodaloo!